Hey there, it's Heather Hakes. Welcome back to my channel. In today's training, I want to teach you how to take your power back. You are a powerful creator. But before we dive into today's lesson, I want to offer you a free video training on how to reprogram your subconscious mind. If you don't know it yet, it's your subconscious mind that is running the show and creating every outcome in your life. You can grab it in the description box below, but also directly on my website, heatherhakes.com. All right, let's dive into it. Today, I'm thinking of this as more like a master class. The reason I do what I do is because I want to remind you that you are a powerful creator, that you are literally creating every outcome, every result in your life. And guess what? If you're feeling stuck, if you don't have the results you want financially, your health, your relationships, your business, and more. I want to teach you, to empower you on how you can change the trajectory in any area of your life. So we're going to start at the top. What I want to teach you is, number one, mental programming, and that what you're currently living through is what's called your paradigm. So here's what I want to show you here. Your paradigm is simply a collection of beliefs and concepts that contribute to your worldview, aka your perspective, your beliefs, which creates the framework from which you operate every single day. Now, here's what I want you to know. From birth up until age seven, you are a sponge. You take in everything as fact, meaning your paradigm is shaped by your parents, by your community, by those around you, your culture, everything you grew up around. You take it all in as fact because your analytical and logical mind are not yet formed. So here's what I want you to know. Your paradigm, what what was more or less planted into you growing up is not your fault, especially if you're struggling, most people financially in relationships. But here's what I want you to know. Now, as an adult, it is 100% your responsibility, your choice, your decision to create change in your life. And that's what I want to help you do, to empower you, to teach you, to train you on how to shift your paradigm, how to change your thoughts, your habits, your behaviors, and your emotional state of being because you are the creator of your reality. And here's what I want you to understand. I want you to think of it like this, and you've seen this image of an iceberg. The tip of the iceberg, what we can see is your conscious mind. This is 5% of the picture. So think of it like this. You have hopes, wishes, desires, goals. That is your 5% conscious mind. But guess what? Everything below the surface, the subconscious mind, which you can't see, but 95%, which is running the show, is all made up of your beliefs, memories, emotions, habits, etc. So this is where the work is. This is why we call it an inside job. Now, I want you to think of it like this, and Dr. Bruce Lipton says this often. Your current life, your current results are a printout of your subconscious mind. Another way of saying this is life is a mirror. I want you to think of the mirror principle. Everything in your external environment is a direct reflection of your internal state. That's why you can go and get another job. You can get in a new relationship. You can make more money and you will sabotage all of that because of your belief system, your paradigm, your subconscious programming. Here's what I want to share with you, a perfect real world example of this. 70% of lottery winners, so individuals who win boatloads of money, we're talking millions of dollars, blow it all within three to five years. Do you want to know why? 70% of lottery winners sabotage their financial wealth and success because of their subconscious programming. Think of it like this. Think of a thermostat. If your internal set point, your belief system, your paradigm is set at, let's say, $100,000, and now you've just gained millions of dollars of income, which is way above your set point, your belief system, your paradigm. 
We will do what we have to do to bring things back to, you've heard this, your comfort zone. But I want you to think of this thermostat, your set point. So guess what? When it comes to finances, like these lottery winners, what you need to do is upgrade your belief system, upgrade your wealth consciousness, your AKA set point from 75 degrees to 100 degrees or 110 degrees. This is really what I teach my coaching clients more or less. It's a reinvention of you. Now, again, I've I've talked about mental programming before, but what I want to show you here is it's your conscious mind where you want change in your life. But if you can't get this pink line here, if you can't get past your analytical, logical mind, which is keeping you stuck, keeping you in this negative feedback loop, you will never be able to enter the subconscious and create the change you want in your life. But here's what I want to know and empower you. You have the power, the innate capability to create change in your life. You can have, be, do, and experience anything you want. And it really is an identity shift. Now, I want you to understand your identity. Now, what I coach my coaching clients through is creating version 2.0. If you are interested in this and you are sick and tired of going through the motions and feeling stuck, I invite you to schedule a free discovery call. You can find out more and schedule that on my website, heatherhakes.com. But here's what I want you to know. Your identity, your self-image is made up of three things. It's the thoughts you think, your emotions that you feel, and the actions you take. Now, I talk about this a lot in the thought cycle. I like to keep things as simple as possible. And what I want you to know that change is simple. It's not necessarily easy at first, but learning the right tools, creating new habits and beliefs is how you create new desired results. Now, I want to debunk the popular saying, knowledge is power. No, it's not. There are plenty. In fact, I found myself there at one point in my life, what I call self-help junkies. If you find yourself doing that, constantly consuming podcasts and YouTube videos and reading the books and taking the courses and attending the seminars, but never applying and implementing this knowledge in your life, knowledge is not power. Experience is power implementation is power. And that's why I am so adamant in all of my trainings and all of my content. I teach you the tools and the techniques, but I want to make sure that you are applying this to your life. So today, in order to, number one, you learned what your paradigm is. You learned about mental programming and that your thoughts create your emotions and feelings, which are leading to every action you take, including self-sabotage, procrastination, etc., creating results in your life. This is what I call the thought cycle simple four steps. What you can do is look at any area of life your current results, and reverse engineer, okay, what actions have I been taking or not taking? You know, hitting the snooze button, if you're one to hit the snooze button, think about that. You are procrastinating as your first habit of the day, and how you do anything is how you do everything. So if you start there, if procrastination is your problem, stop hitting the snooze button in the morning. Now take it back from there. What are the emotions you are feeling? And most people are stuck in fear, doubt, worry, overwhelm. And it's these emotions that you want to overcome. It's these emotions that you want to, with your conscious mind, with your will, to start thinking new thoughts. I really want you to understand that change is possible. I don't care if you're bankrupt. You can go from bankrupt to being a multimillionaire. But whatever you believe to be true is true for you. If you're currently in a terrible relationship or you've been single and lonely for years, when you do the internal work, the external reflects, you've heard this, your vibe attracts your tribe. You don't attract what you want, you attract what you are. So when you start feeling worthy, when you have self-love, then you will be a magnet to attract that ideal person into your life. But here's where most people get stuck. And then you stay in this vicious feedback loop years on end. 
You're focused on what you don't want. And guess what? Whatever you focus on expands. So this is about, again, using your conscious mind, being mindful and intentional. What are you thinking? What are you focused on? Is it what you want or what you don't want? Because either way, you're going to get more of it. So your takeaway today is this. Understand your paradigm. Understand your mental programming. And then it's about creating forward focus. What do you want to have in your lifetime? Where are you feeling stuck? And then use that thought cycle. Start thinking new thoughts. You have to literally program yourself to feeling new feelings. And it all starts with thought and taking new actions in your life. That's what it comes down to. I'm here to support you in your journey because I know what it's like to feel stuck. I also know what it's like on the other side. This becomes a new lifestyle. That's why I call it a reinvention of you. And this is exactly how you take your power back. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you're the first to know when new videos drop. And give me a thumbs up. I'll catch you on the next one.